I'll be very brief. I have uh, 15 minutes. I don't want to steal time from the wonderful uh, tracks that will follow. Uh, so I go very, very fast. Well, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself in 30 seconds. I'm the director of CrowdFans. I don't know if you heard about this company. It's a new company, so you probably never heard before about it. <laughs> it's a um, company that deals with uh, uh, buying and refining, testing, documenting, and reselling zero days exploits. Uh, in my previous lives, I was the head of cybersecurity for KPNG. I was a military officer. Uh, I was a member of the National Security Observatory in Italy and, and many other things. I've been working in the cybersecurity field since when it wasn't called cyber. <laughs> Actually, basically, I started 20 years ago. So I'm probably the, 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 the oldest in the room, which sucks, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, so I've seen this market develop over time from, you know, before Windows 3.1 to today. Hmm? CrowdFence is, the, is a Dubai-based company. Uh, the reason why it's based in Dubai is basically because it's a really cool place to do business nowadays. Uh, it was established in 2017 after two years of uh, uh, studying, designing, learning, and discussing with lawyers and with uh, ethical hackers, other researchers, and so on, because <coughs> we wanted to do uh, to create something innovative, and it publicly launched in April 2018. Uh, the mission, briefly, is to modernize this market, which is still working with logics that were developed over time historically in the past 15, 20 years uh, from the ground up with, with no uh, you know, understanding of the issues that were going to, uh, to emerge. So nowadays, the zero-day market, we think, is not uh, up to date with the, how much strategic it has become. Mm. Nowadays, we're talking about nation states wanting to buy this stuff to perform investigations, intelligence activities, or uh, to support military activities. And But the, the market has remained the same. <clears throat> so we want to modernize, to support researchers, and that's why we are sponsoring this, 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 this track. <clears throat> to make it more transparent as much as possible, more efficient, and so on. Uh, we support law enforcement and in intel agencies. So we are buying zero days, which can be used for information gathering activities. And we don't support the development of cyber weapons. So for example, when someone uh, offers us uh, zero days for critical infrastructure gear, ICS, SCADA, <coughs> IoT, healthcare, wearables, and so on, we usually decline. <coughs> when we launched in, in April, we uh, offered a $10 million bounty, $10 million uh, back bounty. And as of today, we paid out half of that amount to researchers. And if you go on our website, you will see that we have published a list of target systems and a list of classes or families of exploits that we are mostly interested into. <coughs> and of course, we are keeping, <coughs> uh, we are continuing to, to, to look for researchers and brokers and customers. <coughs> And today we're here because we, we are, you know, willing to meet the community, to talk with the community, to discuss our ideas, to receive your suggestions or your criticism. <coughs> In a few days, we will launch what we called internally the VRP. The VRP means a Vulnerability Research Platform. It's a web-based platform that we designed at first for our internal activities. 
And after a certain point, we decided that we wanted to open it up to uh, the community. So <coughs> uh, the idea is to create a, a process to streamline and standardize the submission, discussion, testing, pricing, and purchasing of zero days for <coughs> this, the kind of customers that we have. So for information gathering activities, for law enforcement and intelligence agencies. It was designed to be legal, com highly confidential, and uh, to simplify the process. Nowadays, <coughs> when we start talking with a researcher about his or her findings, we always have a lot of issues because of you know, time zones, people trying to use non-PGP encrypted emails all the time, trying to talk with us about amazing zero days on WhatsApp. You know, this stuff must end. It's impossible to deal this kind of stuff in through these channels and in this way. So this application is hopefully a way <coughs> to set a standard in the market. We will, of course, improve it all uh, and, and expand it. But the version one of the platform will be released in the next few days. <coughs> of course, it's undergoing a lot of security testing. As you can imagine, we are pen testing it to death. <coughs> it's based on full end-to-end -end encryption. And the back-end back architecture is pretty weird because the server doesn't know what it's dealing with at all. So it's not your typical web application. Uh, so what are the results? If from the first few months, we can already tell that the results of this approach are that sellers can sell their uh, findings faster and at higher prices, and customers receive higher quality products. Because in our lab, we test, document, rewrite, expand, polish, refine their code. Nowadays, what happens? <clears throat> There's a lot of scammers around, but even if you're not dealing with a scammer, what you receive is a piece of code written on a napkin in the toilet, 90% of the time, which is not what our customers are expecting in terms of quality, reliability, and, and so on. <clears throat> this must change. We are willing to pay huge bounties, but the quality must be up to the prices. Hmm? By the way, for example, for iOS chain, we just paid 10 times as much Apple is paying <laughs> with their bug bounty program. So this means something. I mean, it means that somebody is willing to pay to buy that stuff at that price, which is interesting, both for uh, researchers and for us. And at the same time, <coughs> that quality must in increase in over time, which is our wish. We want just to do that. Um, so if you want to join the VRP, of course, you can join for free, and it's open to everyone. We will select, we will filter the submissions depending on what will be submitted. So if, you, if you're going to submit us a zero day for hacking a nuclear power station, we will probably uh, <laughs> uh, refuse to uh, go further. Yeah? But in, in, in other cases, our team will interact with you and start a conversation about your finding, about reliability, uh, <coughs> issues, artifacts, whatever, until we find a a good understanding of what it is and what it does without seeing the code, then we will define a fair price. And after that, we will find a way to uh, uh, complete the, to sign a contract, which is automatically generated by the platform and digitally signed by both sides. Because what happens today is that you buy an apple and then you receive a banana, which happens all the times. And then you don't have ways to say, look, you sold me an apple, but this is a banana. Hmm? And uh, of course, 
Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. You can talk to me while I'm here or write me an email. You can find our public PGP key on our website. You can write to info at crowdfence.com. You can talk with Christina, which is sitting there, uh, if you have any media uh, question. This said, I finish. I think I'm like two minutes. Uh, I still have two minutes, but I leave it to the other speakers. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. Enjoy this track. And uh, see you later. Bye. Thanks. Thank you so much, Andrea, for kicking off our day. And thank you and your company, Crowdfans, for sponsoring our ComSec track. Let's give it up one more time for Andrea.